Welcome back everybody, it's David again from Real Hardware Reviews. So what distinguishes the Cooler Master MM730 gaming mouse from the other gaming mouse on the market? So let's start with the weight. It only weighs 49 grams. It's one of the lightest mice you'll ever find on the market. All of this was accomplished without having it appear like a cheese grater as we've seen with other mice attempting to attain similar lightness. Now let's look at the shape of the mouse. It's perfect for a clog grip. And it feels great in your hand and you can use it for hours without getting tired of it. The Wright's outward flares provide a comfortable constant grip without being over controlling. It takes a while to get used to but once you do it's second nature. The build quality of the mouse has definitely increased and there is no flexing or squeaking to be found. Now I bring this up mainly because earlier samples of this mouse had some quality control concerns. But nonetheless, Cooler Master looks to be taking care of this problem and replacing those early models without any additional cost. The 730 also offers 8 optical switches for its main clicks. These switches offer no pre-travel, extremely little post-travel, and minimal wobble. Some individuals may dislike the feel of the optical switches, but I find them to be adequate and somewhat subdued in comparison to mechanical switches, which may be a benefit for some. The side buttons are adequate and there isn't much pre-travel. It's tactical, but it's not a really aggressive press. It's similar like the main switches, although it's a little quieter. Because of its forward orientation, the side buttons may be uncomfortable for some. You do get used to it, but you may need to adjust your hand position slightly. The scroll wheel is beautiful, although the steps can be a little mushy at times. It's just a matter of taste, but it's a recurring trend with this mouse. Moving on to the sensor, you'll see that its location is a little altered. Its position is higher than that of any other mouse, so it will take some getting used to, but I had a lot of fun with it. It was way more accurate and gave me a better sense throughout gaming sessions. It's almost impossible to quantify it. The sensor is a PMW3389 which has a resolution up to 16,000 dpi. There is buttons on the bottom that will allow you to change the dpi without having to install any type of software, which is a giant plus. In the box, the 730 comes with white PTFE feet that slide well but take some getting used to. They also have some extra black feet that may be swapped out if necessary. I found the lighting to be tasteful and subdued with this mouse. It doesn't scream gamer and it can be turned off when needed making this mouse look extremely professional for a work environment if needed. The mouse comes with an ultra weeb USB cable that stretches approximately about 1.8 meters and is a sheathed in a protective fabric sleeve to protect it from wear and tear. Unfortunately, it cannot be removed, which would have been a great touch. Though, this is easily fixed with the wireless version of this mouse. Now let's talk about the pricing. The MSRP for the 730 is about approximately $80. However, it can be bought on sale for much less, making it an exceptionally cost-effective mouse. Now, would I recommend this mouse? Overall, the 730 is a pretty solid mouse. It has superb build quality and a strong feel about it. The only drawbacks were the clicks and scroll wheel both of which were personal preferences, and some may regard this as a benefit. Though the general feel of using it developed on me, and it felt amazing in my hands, especially considering it's one of the lightest mice in the market today. And thus, this brings us to the end of the review and video as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, then please smash that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. It helps us a ton and supports the channel. This is David from Real Hard Reviews, signing out.